Mount Rurema, a towering plateau encircled by cliffs that stretch up to 400 meters into the sky, stands as a natural fortress guarding the secrets of an ancient world. Located at the intersection of three countries, Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana, this geological marvel is not just a boundary in the literal sense, but also a gateway to a land that time seems to have forgotten. This magnificent tepui, or tabletop mountain, inspires awe and mystery, evoking an otherworldly landscape that might as well have been plucked from the fantastical realms of a novel. According to the indigenous Paimon people, Roraima is the stump of a mighty tree that once held all the fruits and tubers in the world. It was felled by one of their ancestors, unleashing a terrible flood upon the earth. This myth captures the essence of Roraima's allure, an untamed, primordial beauty that is both nurturing and perilous. Today, it continues to be a place of spiritual significance for the Pimon, as well as a mesmerizing challenge for adventurers from around the globe. The ascent to Mount Roraima is no ordinary hike. It is an expedition through a variety of climates and terrains. The journey typically starts in the Gran Sabana, Venezuela's vast, grassy plains dotted with other ancient tepuis. These tabletop mountains are remnants of a prehistoric plateau that dominated this region of South America before geological forces sculpted them into isolated islands of biodiversity. As adventurers trek closer to Roraima, the landscape changes dramatically. What begins as a relatively easy walk through rolling grasslands transforms into a challenging climb up steep, rocky paths enveloped in a dense mist. The climate on Roraima is notoriously unpredictable, and sudden changes can sweep over the mountain without warning. Torrential rains, dense fog, and glaring sun might all be encountered in the course of a single day. These conditions have nurtured a unique ecosystem on the plateau. Many of the plants and animals found here are endemic, such as the bizarre insect-eating pitcher plants and the Roraima bush toad, which is only known to inhabit the summit. The summit itself is a world apart, often described as a moonscape due to its eerie, barren appearance, interspersed with alien rock formations and crystal clear pools. These jacuzzis, formed by millennia of wind and water erosion, offer a surreal experience for those who brave the challenging climb. Walking through this landscape, with its towering rock pillars and vast ravines, one feels transported to another planet. Beyond the physical journey, a trip to Mount Roraima is a profound encounter with history and time. The plateau's sandstone bedrock dates back two billion years, making it one of the oldest geological formations on Earth. This ancient stone has witnessed the drift of continents and the dawn of life itself. For scientists and nature lovers alike, Roraima is a living museum, a place to study and marvel at life forms that have survived in isolation for centuries. Culturally, Roraima continues to weave its spell. It has captured the imaginations of explorers and writers for centuries. Sir Walter Raleigh mentioned it in his account of a quest for the fabled city of El Dorado. Uh, more famously, it is believed to have inspired Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's novel, The Lost World, where dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures survive on a plateau in South America. These cultural references add layers of narrative to Roraima, making it a symbol of exploration and the unknown. The climb to the top of Mount Roraima is also a journey through a tapestry of human endeavor and natural wonder. Local guides, often members of the indigenous communities, provide insights not only into the natural history of the region, but also into their cultural heritage, including their myths, languages, and current way of life. This interaction enriches the experience, providing a deeper, more respectful connection to the place. The descent from Mount Roraima provides a different perspective, both literal and metaphorical. Hikers return by the same path, yet the landscape seems transformed by the experience, colored by the enormity of what has been witnessed. The journey down offers time for reflection, for integrating the profound isolation and pristine beauty of the summit with the vast, interconnected world below. Mount Roraima remains a place of mystery and profound beauty, a peak that seems to exist not only at the edge of three nations, but at the very boundary of reality itself. It challenges those who climb it to reconsider the familiar boundaries between earth and sky, time and history, reality and myth. For those who answer its call, Roraima offers not just a journey through a physical landscape, but an expedition into the wild, uncharted terrains of the soul.